pressures of impending SATs, midterm exams, and getting through the cliff's notes of Moby Dick, oh, big white yawn, we made a solemn scholastic pact to buckle down and ditch. Bite me, Will! <laughs> Speaking of fierce white mammals, I recently reeled in the catch of the semester, my new soulmate, Adam, and, fingers crossed, knock wood, rabbit, rabbit, I think this one is gonna keep to the prom. Murray, would you please pay for parking? This is endless. It takes Brooke Shields less time to tweeze her Neander brow. <laughs> yeah, man, park this heap. I need to unveil my new muscles to all the beach bunnies. W will everybody please chill? But I, too, am anxious. My girl here will be cavorting through the waves. <laughs> As if. <laughs> what? <laughs> Murray, Dion is wearing a Massimo two-piece with a floor-length silk mesh cover-up. Okay, so? So, if I go into the surf, it will get totaled. Wait a minute. Why would you buy a bathing suit you can't get wet? For the same reason that you would never wreck your precious Air Jordans playing basketball. Yeah, but when my Air Jordans get wet, they don't cling erotically to my feet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, stop the conversation in the car. There's a space. So close to being DOA. I felt the cold finger of death on the back of my neck. I later realized it was a pickle for Murray's lunch, chilling nonetheless. Luckily, the truck driver was okay and nobody got hurt, but our day at the beach attitude was gone, like Mother Teresa's seldom seen but wicked impression of Fran Drescher. I don't think monster truck dodging is gonna catch on as an extreme sport. I was just praying I had on clean underwear so my mom wouldn't be embarrassed at the morgue. It was terrifying. I'm still shaking. Smoothie, anyone? Uh, we are not in a suck down a smoothie kind of mood, Amber. Oh, please. Now, can I help it if nature decrees that those with the quickest reflexes get the best parking spaces? <laughs> it's survival of the fastest, so don't get your Speedos in a bunch. This is serious. We were almost in the memoriam page of the yearbook. That would have been tragic. Didn't you have, like, a world-class zit on the day of school pictures? Wow, imagine being known as Mount Vesuvius for all eternity. As opposed to being known as the Erie Canal. Would you guys stop fighting? Another 10 seconds of our life just went by and you wasted it fighting. And you just wasted another three seconds of it whining about it. This is serious. I mean, what if we had taken a dirt nap today? Look at our lives. There are so many things left to do. <laughs> like your makeup? One word. Blend. I know there's something I want to do. Really? Snowboard the Himalayas. I want to jam with the Yetis. Oh. Well, what about the rest of you? Aren't there things you want to do before you become worm food? Oh, absolutely. Just once, I would like to forget about the size of a guy's wallet, the length of his portfolio, the girth of his trust fund, and just make out with a card-carrying member of the hunk club. <laughs> Sorry, you're not my type, Amber. Oh, come on, Amber. We've all seen you make out with many a hunk. <laughs> yeah, but they have all had a future and a brain. I just want a mindless piece of meat. Oh, OK. Well, let's see. Uh... Oh. How about that lamb chop over there? 
Should I? A lifeguard? I'm sure he can handle you. He's been trained for shark attacks. I'm going in. <laughs> Wish me luck. She doesn't need the luck. It's the poor lifeguard. Hi. I was just wondering if you could help me. I recently took a CPR class, and <laughs> the funny thing is, I can't remember if it's two breaths and a blow, or one breath and two blows. Gee, uh... Yeah, I used to know that. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Chad Michael Thorses. It used to be Eldon, but uh, I changed it. Let there... me cut to the chase, Elvis. I just want to make out. Are you game? Sure. Why not? I mean, they just gave us half an hour for lunch, so... Uh, whatever. <laughs> and you, Dee, what would you do if you only had one day left? Well, my fantasy is not too original. It's that same wonderful thing every girl wants to do. Murray? No. Go horseback riding on the beach. Oh, yeehaw! In the nude. <laughs> nude? Uh-huh. That's my fantasy, too. <laughs> and I know there's this horse rental place right down the beach. And, baby, I'd love to make our fantasy come true. <gasps> no way! Extreme way! Oh. If I could get my hand and stop shaking long enough to get my credit card out, we're out of y'all. <laughs> Gotta go see a man about a horse. <laughs> And, Sean, anything left you want to do? <laughs> well, I've always wanted to skydive. Very cool. Pure adrenaline. Do it. Like to. Can. Sure you can. I'll take you. Thanks. But that's not the problem. I'm afraid of heights. Oh, classic fear. You can get over it. I don't think so. I'm terrified of a lot of things. Well, who isn't? I mean, I used to be scared of leaving conditioner. Like, where does it go? And then what if you panic and rinse? Then what? You're preaching to the choir, honey. That's why I shaved my head. I'm afraid of all hair products, and clowns, and cheese, and those chattery teeth that go like that. Oh, I can hear them now. Sean, I had no idea. No one does, but almost dying brought up all my deep, dark fears. I'm afraid of everything, and even more than leprechauns, I'm afraid of dying a coward. Sean, it's cool to be afraid of things, man. It's nature's defense mechanism. The only way you're going to get a grip on these fears is to face them. You're right. Where are you going? I don't know. But nowhere near that poodle. Tap, tap, Adam. Did this near-death thing awaken in you what it so woke up in me? So, Adam, is there anything you've never done with anyone that you'd really like to do in your life before you're so old that nothing in your body works anymore? Well, there's a secluded cove I know about down the beach. Want to go? Yeah, I think so. Come on, you get undressed behind your horse, I'll get undressed behind my horse, and we'll mount up at the same time. <laughs> uh-uh. See, doing this nude was your fantasy. You said it was yours, too. Yeah, for you to be naked. See, in my fantasy, I got my pants on. Well, unless we're both naked, this isn't going to happen. There's always a catch. Did you say something? No. Good. Mm. Do you have anything with cheese on it? We possess the technology to put cheese on anything, sir. OK, what food item has the most cheese on it? Well. We do have the optional third or fourth pump on our nachos. Hit me. All right. Oh, that's nasty. What's in it? Oh, milk fat, orange dye number three, and many of the same polymers used on the space shuttle Columbia. Keep pumping. Yeah. Oh. Like the 
the beach in the movie Contact where Jodie Foster saw her dad. Oh my God, hi, Daddy! What? Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny, Sharon. You wanna go for a swim? It depends. Does this bathing suit self-destruct in the water, too? No. Hey, we're all alone. Yeah. That was kind of the point. I'm not sure. No problem. Cher, I only want to do what you want to do. Could he be more perfect? Maybe we are ready to enroll in the College of Carnal Knowledge. Still, I need a sign. Cher, I think I'm falling in love with you. Ding, ding, ding. That's a sign. What happened to Murray's car? Cher. I'm still having trouble getting my eyes to focus. Murray? Baby? Are you okay? Oh, well, I'm all fine. I'm just worried about all those eggs I still gotta deliver. I mean, it's Easter, and the kids <laughs> depend on me. Oh, hang in there, honey, okay? All right. I'm not afraid of kelp. 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 Yo. Show me what I want, what I really, really want, what I really, really want, what I really, really want. Murray, really please want, really be really quiet. Want. I'm trying to talk. Hey, my so name is Baby Spice. Sean. power. Who is this? It's D. Murray fell off his horse and hit his head. I'm taking him to the hospital. Is he okay? <sighs> I'm a little teapot shirt and stuff. Sean, I'm scared. Find Cher and Adam and get a ride back with Amber, okay? Oh, and we left our horses tied up on the beach. Will you get them back to the stable, please? You bet. Horses? <laughs> You're amazing. Several years from now, when I'm married to a senile Fortune 500 CEO and living in Martha's Vineyard in an estate so large it can only be referred to as a compound, promise me that she'll fly in for the occasional nostalgic love tryst. Uh, I'm only getting like every other word here. Whoa. There's a boob job so fake even Pamela Anderson would slap her surgeon. That is Pamela Anderson. What? They were shooting Baywatch on the other side of the sand dune over there. Uh, I worked there this morning. Oh, they needed a real lifeguard to make sure the moron actors didn't drown, right? No, uh, I'm an extra on the show. A featured extra. I get fatally stung by a jellyfish. 
An extra? You mean I've been swapping spit with the television equivalent of a supermarket bag boy? Oh! Sorry, moon doggy. I am outie. Can I still come to visit you in Martha's backyard? <laughs> Hop on, Murray's in trouble, and he might be hurt bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get up, come on, come on. Hey! Guys, Murray's hurt. Yeah, he's dislocated his scalp or something, and Dion took him to the hospital, so mount up. As if you haven't already. all right? I don't know. They took him in for a CAT scan. Ooh, cats? You're afraid of cats, too? Just the musical. He was babbling, and he blacked out a few times, and when we got here, he couldn't get out of the car. He said he couldn't feel his toes. Oh, that happens to me all the time. Now, was he wearing spike heels? Amber, shut up. What? Like, that's out of the question? He thought he was a Spice Girl. Unexpected jump down my throat. How long has he been in there? I don't know. It seems like forever. I'm sick to my stomach. <sighs> so am I. Take a deep breath. You'll be all right. Oh, that's making it worse. Excuse me. Your donate an organ? No, you need actual money. Ew, how retro. <laughs> but I'll be happy to buy you one. <sighs> Save your chump change, Dr. Denton. Excuse me? Look, this will never work out. Sure, you're a handsome young doctor to be, so we date, we get married, I support you and help you pay off your six figure student loan. But as soon as you set up your fancy schmancy practice, you're on to midlife crisis trophy wife, and I am out of my butt, which by that time will need to be lifted, so keep your quarters, doogie. Um, miss, don't uh, go. Don't beg. It's really icky. Number one, I'm gay. And number two, you have the start of a disturbing rash on your legs. And your arms. And your neck. <laughs> Murray, what happened? Man, are you okay? Oh, no, no, no. Look, this is probably the only time I'll say this to you, but do not touch me. Anywhere. He's a little sore right now. He suffered a minor concussion. Oh, that explains the dementia. He has a few contusions. Some of these are hickeys. <laughs> <laughs> He's still delusional. He has a hairline fracture at the clavicle, and we're not sure how this happened, but his testicles are swollen to the size of small grapefruits. <gasps> I object to the use of the word small. Would it kill you to say large lemons? <laughs> We're going to keep them under observation for a while. Why don't you make yourselves comfortable? Like that's possible, Doc. I hear you, bro. Sean, what happened to you? They just pumped a three pound ball of cheese out of my lower intestine. Ew. <laughs> they said it could be a world record. Hey, that's what they said about my family jewels. <laughs> Sink. Don't even think about rubbing that there, you perv. Amber? Don't flatter yourself. Yesterday, I pet Matt McConaughey's hiney. You know, big thrill. <gasps> Cover me. Cover me. Are you friends of hers? Friends is such a strong word. I heard that. <laughs> Your little pal has extreme friction burn from something she's been doing in the sand. I'm prescribing a case of calamine and an attitude adjustment. I am taking this from a butt rubber. What a perfect ending to a perfectly horrible day. Oh, what's the matter, Cher? Did the SS Adam hit an iceberg on its maiden voyage? Cher, did you? Guys, it's none of your business. No, it's all right. We discuss everything anyway. And then eventually Amber finds out. So, for everyone's clarification, 
The answer is no. <sighs> oh, let me guess. You wanted the first time to be really meaningful? Ew, so TGIF. Look, we just decided that it's not something to rush into just because we're scared we might not live long enough to see Michael Bolton go totally bald. Epiphany. We all spent today living it as if it were our last. Well, for certain parts of me, it almost was. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Did I mention that kelp thing to you guys? I think we should pace ourselves so we don't burn out too soon. <laughs> Agreed. Our bodies can't take many more days like this. Yeah, speaking of not being able to take much more, where is Granny Goodwitch with my painkillers? Just for that, this thermometer is going in the freezer first. <gasps> Burr! You know, one good thing did happen today. I faced a lot of my fears and conquered them. From now on, however, I will eat cheese in moderation. Good for you, man. Oh, look, it's Vodka the Clown, here to entertain the sick children. Sean, stay strong. It's just a clown. He's not going to hurt you. You're right. Hi, clown. Look, Sean, he made you a poodle. Ha <laughs> ha!